There's so much I could write poetry about. I could wax lyrical about a city that springs back to life after a winter of confinement. The way people press into terraces, drenched seals slipping gracelessly into wicker chairs. We said rain or shine, and frankly, it's been mostly rain. We're ravenous for what's on the menu and for all we've been missing, the joy of being out, seeing others, the reason we squeeze ourselves into these huge, sprawling cities and tiny, cramped apartments, that big city life. The lightness of laughter among friends who live in different homes, the pleasure of food prepared by someone else is, is that embarrassing to admit to bourgeoisie of me to say? I have been making the same three dishes since March 2020 and the taste of red lentils just doesn't hit like it used to and my mother lives too far away. I could tell you about moving about wondering why I can never set roots, why I don't feel rootless, but I'm often restless, less concrete rows, more tumbleweed, why I'm always wondering what it would be like elsewhere. Not to say that here isn't enough, but there's so much in the elsewhere. All the letters should get attention, no matter where they are in the world. My mother, across the seas, suggests maybe it's in my DNA. Your father's family lives in Khartoum, but they came from elsewhere. My mother's own mother didn't know where hers was from. Somehow, it didn't matter. How did it not matter? Her fair skin and light eyes said elsewhere. Light eyes are not native to the Sahara, but despite what the Aussie borders signs scream, Non-native doesn't always mean pest. Pest is two letters in whole worlds away from expat. Pay attention to all the letters, to where they are in the word. There's so much I could write poetry about. But what I can't seem to shake is that this poem is in English. Latin characters moving across my screen from left to right that by twist of fate, I don't read poetry in the language of my family, and I'm not even talking distant ancestors, my own mother and father, parents who wax lyrical about the beauty of Allura de la Arabia, my first language, one I have no mastery over. I am a linguistic orphan. I have lost my mother tongue. I am the weakest link. Am I the break in the chains? Not emancipation, but the gap between generations. Did I not try Hard enough? Is it my fault? Anna, Leia, my descendants will have no mother tongue, but instead inherit the master's tongue. How do I tell them I am the reason they have lost the turn of phrase, the deafness wit, wisdom that goes back centuries, all hidden in plain sight? What if? They resent me for it. What if I resent me for it? And what if I don't? I think that scares me more. There's so much I could write poetry about.